Alright guys, I'm going to be doing a crazy giveaway, a $50 bond, as well as a Ichigo pet. All you have to do is smash like button, comment your new name, and subscribe to my channel, and let's jump right into it. Today, we are back on Decimate, the first custom RSPS of 2022, and we're going to be doing a juicy starter guide for all the brand new players that have logged in during the recent times. So, let's get right into this amazing and exciting episode on Decimate Custom RSPS. Now, when you first log into Decimate, you're gonna have the option to pick Normal, Iron Man, or Ultimate awesome Iron Man. With each one, you're gonna get a nice starter gear set with some starter items, a starter set for range, mage, and melee, and a nice mode description. Once you do that, you can quickly click Confirm, change the amount of hair or however you want your character to look, and now you are ready to start on the grind. Now the first place you want to go is all the way here to the thieving stall. This is where you're going to be able to thieve as much money as you want from stealing some bananas and shifting it up all the way to scimitars. And of course, whenever you collect some bananas and you get a full inventory, all you have to do is right click the merchant, click trade, sell the bananas and get profit for them. So we're going to do a bit of thieving here, probably get to 50 or 60 thieving and see how much money we actually make from that. So we just completed our first inventory of gold rings and with that we actually achieved 55 thieving in only a couple minutes. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get 60 and that way we can actually go and steal from the general store. We just hit 60 thieving. Let's go ahead and sell these and we got in a total of 129,000 one bill certificate. All right guys, now that you've got some cash and of course you do have some starter cash as well, it's time to go all the way to the general store and get some supplies. Now make sure you guys go ahead and vote to receive some points and with this point, you can go ahead and actually get some of the overloads, even some $5 bronze. So once you do go ahead and vote 20 times, which I'm about to go ahead and vote as much as I can, try and go on a streak, get those $5 bronze, then go all the way to the donor store shop and you have the option to not only buy cosmetics but if you go to shop one you can get some jackpot boxes and a bunch of other extremely rewarding things that you can use in game i would also recommend you go to the player own shops and preview some of the items for sale and if if you stumble upon anything that you feel is really good or that you can get a really good price on I would definitely recommend you guys go ahead and buy it. Even if you can't use it, you might as well buy it and try and merch it, gain some profit off of that as well. But now it's actually time to get onto the grind. Go to your teleportation, start at the Moo 2 boss, and then click teleport. Now this is the easiest one, so when you first log in it, this is what I definitely recommend, especially when you're extremely low level. And then you wanna go ahead, train your stats, probably to 60 or 70. Then you wanna get an upgrade for your gear, and start your second boss kill. Now every NPC is going to bring you some really good items. In this NPC we actually were able to obtain a Mu2 helmet and of course if you go to its drop table they can actually give you the whole set so not only do you have the opportunity to buy it but if you are like me and don't want to buy it you can go ahead and grind for it by killing these NPCs and then once you get that good enough level you can tear up, go on to higher NPCs get a higher armor set from them as a drop and continue on that cycle. All right guys, we just got 65 defense, 60 strength and 65 attack. I would also definitely recommend you guys get all of the bones, pick up anything you get as a loot. And then once you're done and you go ahead and complete that, go all the way home, go to the altar right here and use those bones that you've gotten from any of the NPCs on the altar and therefore getting some high prayer XP. So after getting some stat upgrades, now you can level up and go to the second boss, Squirtle. And the idea here is that you keep on that leveling grind. Every single time you get higher and higher stats or you get better and better gear, then you're able to shift up and start killing better and better monsters, which in turn give you better loot. And you continue on that cycle until you reach ultra bosses all the way at the end here. And there are three of the top bosses that can really give you some game changing loot. We just got a royal sickle. I wonder if that's better than my starter battle battle axe right here. But we can check. So the current stats for that is plus 40 for my battle 
uh, axe and then this is plus 80 so yeah this is definitely worth a lot more does significantly more damage so I'm going to stick to this one until we get a better item. Guys, we just got another juicy drop, the Squirtle Play Body, which is an amazing milestone right here. There's also a bunch of tickets at the bottom, but I'm actually not taking them at this time. I'm just trying to go for the really good lead, and we are landing some really good ones. As well as we achieved 76 attacks, 75 defense, and... 75 strength. I think now it's time to change things up to get some better gains. So I'm really looking to profit as my cash stack isn't big enough for me to buy some of those better gear types. So what I think I'm going to do is I went all the way to the mini games, went to the cash zone, and now what we're going to be doing is killing all of these golden coins, picking up their lead set, the certificates, and they also give you coins. And with those golden coins, you get to use them in these chests and have a chance of getting a great reward out of them. So we'll go ahead, see what we can get, and hopefully get a few of them opened if we get some. So let's keep on the grind and hopefully we land some coins. All right, guys, we actually got the first golden coin, so let's see if we can get, wish me some luck. We got some one bill certificates and the global bosses have just launched right now when live. So we're gonna start off by Icy Vargo, hopefully get the kill with a bunch of our buddies and get some good lead out of it. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. Now what's really nice is you can actually quickly click examine on any NPC and see the exact drops for it. And so hopefully we get something good, but let's have a quick look. So I can drop you the full Icy set and get a bunch of certificates, uh, some bonds, some mystery boxes. And wow, I'm really impressed. What are we gonna get? We get some one bill certificates. You know what, I'll take. All right guys time to go ahead and shift on to Solak now and hopefully get a good draw. Something that you have to understand if you are especially brand new to the server and are just starting off, if any global event occurs make sure you're there. This is the best way to profit and normally it only takes a few minutes for you to get the kill especially with some people. You finish the kill, get some really good loot, and profit off of it almost instantly. Alright, so some more one bill certificates. I was really hoping to get something else, but they have multiple different bosses. The last one being Witch Doctor. Now, this is the most profitable one. If we go ahead and, and check out the drop loot on that, you can get the full Witch Doctor set, a ton of one bill certificates, one quid certificates, you can get global mystery boxes, bonds, one quid certificates, and a bunch of other things. I think I said one quid certificates twice, but this is extremely OP for profit, so hopefully we get something good. And at the same time, it's kind of like AFK training your combat stats, since we aren't really taking any damage. Darn, some more one bill certificates. I was really hoping for a piece, but we got a lot of one bill certificates, which is very good. Something that I actually noticed is everything is fully functional on Decimate, even their agility courses. All of them, from Gnome to Barbarian Village to the Wilderness, is fully functional and looks quite good. Now, of course, I would definitely recommend when you first get started as well, you get grinding on your skills because skilling is extremely profitable as well, in addition to PVMing and bossing. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of the video for the starter guide. I definitely understand that the best way to start on the server is through voting, bossing, PVMing, global events, always looking at any events going on throughout the server, whether it's through Discord or in-game, and of course, going into that skilling grind where you're starting to do some thieving, some wood cutting, fishing, all of that is extremely profitable since resources are highly usable on Destiny. Most people use them for PVMing, so there is a very valuable market for them. And since the server is quite fresh, it is the perfect opportunity to hop on and get right into the market, take advantage of it, and own it all. So make sure you do get ready, jump on Destiny using the links below. Try these steps out, try and do all of these, and I can guarantee you, you guys will go from regs to riches just by doing these steps. Now, of course, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.